Hey everyone, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here to show you how to open up a template that you've purchased from us uh, for Canva. So the first thing you'll notice is that when you look at your, you're going to get a document, something like this. And when you see your document, you're going to see all kinds of little links in here. You will notice that there is open Canva links here. You will have for this particular template, we provide a mobile uh, sizing and a five by seven sizing, all templates may be different. The template that you're opening may only have one link. So this would be the link that you have to open it up in Canva. Uh, you'll also notice that most of the time, maybe not all the time, going to give you other information in the, in this file, such as, um, general tutorials. So this particular file came with, like I said, two different sizes. It also came with a Photoshop link. Uh, PSD files. So I give instructions on how you can edit using the PSD file in either Photoshop or the free online editor called Photopea. So, and I also have a link here for you to help you out with Canva, which is what you should be watching right now. If you already have a Canva account, then you will just click on the link like this. And if your Canva account is already signed in, it's really just as simple as that. It's going to open up your link right into your Canva. If by chance you don't have a Canva account, then I'm going to show you how that would work. So I'm, um, you're going to click on the link. I'm just going to copy and paste this link so that I could put it into a, into a, into a, uh, private browser so that my Canva doesn't open up automatically. However, you do not have to copy and paste that link. All you have to do is click on it. When you click on the link, this is what it will look like if you do not have a Canva account. It, you will get this invitation. It says you're invited to edit a design created by Lisa Beth. Start designing now. Like I said, this is just our sample. You may not have purchased this template, but this is the sample on how to open up all templates. So you're going to click on edit design. And now it wants you to have a free Canva account. So you have all these different choices. You can continue with an email, you can with Facebook, you can with Google. Um, I believe there's other ways to do it also. So I'll show you, um, let's say we're going to continue with Google. That's, that's my ease. I'm going to just put in my Google account. All right. Now my Google account has a double password. As it's two factor protection. So, so I'm going to put my password in. This is my Google account my phone right now. I've been verified. Now I'm in my Google account. I mean my Canva account. And again, it will just open up like so. And what you're going to do now is you take a look at the template. You'll see that I have provided for you two sets of text that is fully editable. So you can change this happy Valentine's day, just highlight it, change it to maybe save the date. You can change the sizing by going up to the top. You could change the font even, you know, change it to whatever you want. You could change the color of the font, however you like it. Same thing with the bottom text here. You'll change the name. The rest of the uh, text here, this love is really just clip art. This is clip art. You can move it if you want to. Clip art, clip art, you can move it. Um, if you like the design the way it is, leave it alone. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload a photo, the photo that you want. So I went over to the left side, I press uploads, upload files. I'm just gonna go to, um, a photo that I have here, click on it, open. And now it is uploading the file, the photo file to my Canva. It is now on my left-hand side. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to drag it and drop it right over that blue box. That is a frame and voila, you now have it placed in there. If you want to resize it or move it around, you're going to double click on it so that the frame gives you these edges. And you're now moving just the photo inside the frame. See if, 
if I move it, let's say, and I cut their heads off, I'm sure you don't want to, but I want to just do this as an example. And then I click on the sides. You'll see now her, their heads are cut off because I've moved and resized it within the parameters of this frame. So I'm going to double click on it again. I'm going to move it back down so it stays in the parameter of the frame. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll even shift it over to the right a little bit. Okay. I'll even a little more because. And fantastic. Great. Now what I will do is I will press the share button on top. It says here, um, download. I don't want to, I mean, usually you're going to want to click this and ch change it to JPEG. Um, I would say make it, whoops. So the free version gives you this quality and size. They do not let you increase it by any means. If you go for, if you have a, a full Pro Canva Pro, then you'll be able to change your JPEG size. So, but for mobile, this should be more than enough pixels and it's a large size. So you can, um, you can always downsize it if you want to. No, it doesn't like to do that. Sorry, only in Canva Pro. So you'll just press download. You'll see this little, and then you will, um, if you want to, you can rename it sample, whatever you want to name it, press save, and you've downloaded it. If you want to see where your templates are in your Canva, you can go to home. You'll see that it's in a recent design. You could also go to your projects. You'll see there it is. There, there's our template. You'll see the new images. Um, Canva's pretty large. I suggest that if you don't really know how to use Canva and you would like to learn more facets of Canva, then you can um, maybe watch some video tutorials on YouTube and explore Canva and be able to use all the different features and functions of Canva. So uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Photoshop Designs on our Etsy shop, or you can find us at support at photoshopdesigns.com via email. Thanks for watching.